guys, my name is Baby Lasagna. Today I tried a new haircut and it didn't go well as you can see, but still we're gonna answer some of your questions and hopefully you enjoy and come to meet me a little bit more. So yeah, cheers. Yes, I was a member of band Mantra, but that had nothing to do with me creating a project Baby Lasagna. I left the band because of the other reasons and I focused on my songwriting uh, with which I won even a prize for uh, the best album in Germany in 2023. And between all of that, I felt the need that I should create something just for myself, uh, specifically something that I like. And that was Baby Lasagna and thus the project was born. The first time I was on Dora was with band Mantra and at that time I was not really happy that we are on Dora but the other members were. I was a little kid who was like, well, well we are a metal band, what we are doing on Dora, that doesn't make sense. And yeah, I didn't really enjoy it then but I hope that I'm smarter now than that kid five years ago and that I will enjoy this time on the Dora and I don't know I don't really think about much about my career and where it's gonna go I hope it's gonna be international uh, but first of all I hope it's gonna happen if you know what I mean so yeah I'm really hoping to to perform uh, at Dora and God willing on Eurovision. I started uh, to write songs when I was nine years old. I still remember the title of my first song. It was called The Song of Love. <laughs> yeah, I cringe when I hear that, uh, sorry. Yeah, uh, so when I was nine, year old, nine years old, I started to write uh, songs. Uh, and yeah, I wrote Rim Tim Tagidim all by myself, actually here in this studio. And... Um, yeah, I didn't wrote it specifically on Dora. Actually, it's a part of my upcoming album, Demons and Mosquitoes. And to be honest with you, Rim Tim Tagadim wasn't even supposed to be a single on that album. It was supposed to be an album filler. So yeah, crazy how things have turned out to be. So when I first heard that uh, I got in, uh, I wasn't really excited right away i actually was eating my pasta and i was like yeah okay yeah, yeah i'm ready sure okay bye just continue to eat uh, but the people around me were like and then just a few minutes after i started to panic so yeah uh it was and still is weird to get out of the shadows as you put it uh, it's i don't know i'm still in the middle of the storm so i really need to to let it pass and then reflect on everything that's going on because it's really hard to be objective at this moment but i'm trying to enjoy things and trying to to soak, soak it all in so yeah that's my motto right now I don't see them as rivals, but I have my favorites, which is Let's Three and Marcella. Definitely, I think they have uh, really great potential with their song and their showmanship. So I'm really excited to see what's gonna happen there. Uh, yeah, my song is about people leaving their country in a search of a better life and I have had uh, opportunities to leave uh, Umang and Croatia actually and to go work in America but I was afraid to do it so I didn't do it. Then I had some opportunities to go on a ship, on a cruise to work as a crew member but I also didn't do it because I was too scared so yeah, I never left my my city and i focused on music and here we are if i must pick a country where i would live uh, it would probably be i don't know maybe 
Ireland because Irish people seem cool and I've never been there. So yeah, probably Ireland, I don't know. Yeah, uh, my music video for Rintin Tagadim will be released soon. I can't tell you when, but I can tell you there there are gonna be cats, of course. There can't, can't be cats. So yeah, uh, it's gonna have an old feel to it. It's gonna be funny. It's gonna be bizarre, as I like to say that word all the time. So yeah, I'm really, really excited for you guys to see it because I think you're gonna love it. I think it's gonna be the greatest music video ever. So I'm, I'm, I'm sure of it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I uh, Rimtin Tegedim took the the Croatia by the storm, and I think it took a good part of uh, Eurovision fans from all around the world. So I'm really happy for it, and because because of that, I think that uh, it can do well in Europe actually. And yeah, why not bring Eurovision to to Zagreb 2025? Why why not? I I think I can do it with the right staging and everything i think it's possible so yeah all my favorites are norway right now because they have some folklore in it and a metal in it and the high-pitched voice i just i just love the song for now so currently they are my favorite i think I started to watch Eurosong like a few years ago, although I remember going crazy uh, for Lordi. When they won, uh, it was my first metal band, probably. So yeah, I am a casual fan of Eurovision, but I really loved Karia, you know, Maneskin, uh, Goya, or, or I mean, a lot of artists. And today I heard for the, not the first time, but I remembered, I recall the song Queen of the Kings. Oh my God, that's a such, that's such a good song. So I can't stop listening to it. <laughs> yeah, they're uh, honorable mentions, I would say. So when I said I don't like adventure adventures, I was more thinking more of a like uh, climbing Mount Everest or scuba diving with the sharks or I don't know, something like that. But when it comes to music, I really like doing uh, new challenges, new things. And Dora, competing in Dora as a vocalist is one of them. It can be scary, it can be anxiety inducing, but uh, everything that's worth doing, I think it is so yeah those those adventures i do like yeah this is this is one of my favorite books so it's a crime and punishment by fyodor dostoevsky and it's my uh, like my favorite book i know it's basic but i like it but what are you gonna do i read also idiot uh brothers karamazov but yeah crime and punishment is my favorite one well i like anything that has to do with uh, psychology and human psyche so that's like uh, psychological thrillers would maybe be my favorite kind of g genre i think I don't know if I'm gonna write a novel about the guy from Rim Tim Tagedim. I think that Rim Tim Tagedim is its own story and I think I said everything that that needs to be said or at least that what I have to say in it. So I don't know. Baby Lasagna is totally different than Marco. I think Baby Lasagna is like borderline an asshole. <laughs> uh, I mean, he is an extrovert. He's uh, he likes to think that he's edgy. He's not afraid to say some things, and he's kind of crazy. While I think I am everything the opposite way. So <laughs> yeah, I think we differ in that way.
yes, he finally learned. He finally says baby lasagna, so, but he still calls me Marco the way I want to be called. That is a really fun question. So if I had to take Taylor Swift somewhere in Istria, I would take her to one village, but I'm not going to tell you the name of that village because currently it's really small, doesn't have any tourists at all. And yet it's beautiful. It's like there are five people living there and it's so romantic and so magical, but I don't want to share it with the world. Not yet. So I'm going to keep it a secret. Okay. Thank you for joining me and thank you for having me. It's been lovely. The questions are really creative. So yeah, I can't wait to talk to you guys again. Hopefully I'll see you in Sweden in just a few months. Uh, and hopefully you like what you see on Dora 2024. See you and have a good day. Meow.